okay let's just discuss the e discovery now now you know let's just talk a bit about the e discovery because whenever there will be a legal notice uh, okay so earlier i wanted to include you know there here uh, some things like the foreign sales and all these kind of things but you know uh, for now we haven't included them on this particular course journey so let's just talk about and reflect a moment on the electronic discovery right so e discovery is electronic aspect of identifying collecting and producing electronically stored information or esi so the this product request is typically in the response to a lawsuit or investigation so if there is any investigation going on right so you just want the you know so let's say what we can say uh we just want to collect the data okay so we we are suspecting that you know on i am just suing someone or just in the legal code okay when we are talking about this so this is going to be the electronic collection of data first of all first point electronic collection of data now we are just discussing about this factor over here this is the electronic collection of data when we are talking about the e discovery so in the court of law or if you are just filing a lawsuit at some point what will happen your organization will have some legal matter and that are going to require the requirement of the law connected to your technology service and then collecting the information so discovery is a legal term that is related to another legal term called the legal hold this is where evidence must maintain its integrity and authenticity before you present it on the court so lot of the time in my you know forensic courses what we just discuss discuss about is that you know you have to follow the ethics of it plus the data that you are collecting it should be properly you know uh, you know to store and you know there is a thing like we call the chain of custody you should be maintaining the chain of custody over there right so that we can make sure that who are in the you know position of this you have collected it properly or not okay so these things should be easily establishable so when we are talking about the other term discovery is kind of a legal term which is related to another legal term called legal hold this is where your evidence must maintain its integrity and authenticity before you can present it in the court itself now eis it include some of the different different things you know it include actually the your multiple forms of electronic media electronic media over there and you know and it is talking about the different form and it is not only limited to these thing that i am going to about to tell you like i am saying that email it should be you know uh, this uh, there you can go ahead and you can collect the document presentation database voice mail audio video social media and other website also you can check it is in the very interest of the both provider and the client to consider the complication caused by the discovery at the beginning of their relationship and accounted for their sla's in a service level agreement that what is going to be allowed what is allowed and what is not that should already be discussed in advance right you know because later it will be only causing the problem and we don't want that so both service provider and client they have to do this or discuss on these things in earlier now if we talk about the e discovery there is going to be the your iso iec 27050 okay so if you want further information on preparing for e discovery it may be the good purpose the you know, it may be good to uh, just go and go through this iso iec 27050 document once so what it has it has the overview and concept so it is in you know, here you will be finding all the overview and the concept of the discovery that is going to be there so plus it will be having the guidance and 
management of e discovery that how you should be performing it okay how to maintain what terms you should be following okay all these things are going to be in this particular part over here with the guidance and management of e discovery okay it is a code of practice it is going to be a simply a code of practice for e discovery and you know your your information communication technology it is you know it is just taking its readiness for e discovery that your all your information communication technologies readiness for your e discoveries right this is going to be in there then other discover needs you know what we have we have the other you know uh, needs are going to be the you're going to be the criminal investigation okay so when we are talking about the other discovery needs it may surface when within you know organization they have to specifically related to these when you require this thing when you could be required these things some other discovery needs so when you will be requiring something like that like there is some criminal investigation going on criminal investigation going on plus in addition to that there is you know in guidance and management of the your e discovery itself so when we you can simply say in the compliance part plus it is a co sorry you know you might be doing e discovery to see how well your organization is complying to the you know your regulations as well complying to the regulation or laws or even if you want to check something like the internal policy violation so all these things you know these things if you want to just verify you can use the you know your e discovery these things just a way of verifying these things now when we are talking about the support management policy okay over here so you know to help support the management of e discovery these are the policies that you know you should be just thinking about so some of the your supporting management policies supporting management policy okay so you know as i was saying to help support the management of e discovery some policies that we should be thinking about first one should be the archival policy so how long should your data be maintained for how long you will be keeping the data over there okay then discovery okay discovery policies what tools are capable of discovery that is necessary for my business requirement that is something that we have to talk to talk about plus there is the disclosure disclosure right what kind of the disclosure process you have set up if something is discovered you have discovered something you have discovered policy you have discovered something and how you are going to disclose things right that is uh, what you have to do how you'll be disclosing things you have to set up if something is discovered that is not lawful or the violation of the regulation how you'll be disclosing those things then what are the capability of these tools right can it you know read not only data but also the metadata because when we are doing the forensic analysis i have done this a multiple time and i have issue because what we are trying to do is we are just simply try to go and get the metadata so that you know we can get the inside of the data but does our tool has the capability to get the you know metadata because to be honest from the images and uh, from the snapshot we can get those things but if someone is deleted and you are trying to recover them then collecting that file itself is a challenge and you know just kind of forgot about the metadata about that particular tool now next thing that you have to think about that you know how are the risk compliant and trying to trying that also into the your e discovery right 
and seeing if the e discovery program is actually maturing or getting better that means you will be simply you will be simply monitoring and reporting so after each step you know whatever difficulty you face you know that lesson learned we keep talking about this will be helping a lot of these scenarios over here now let's just talk about simply the your e discovery and your data retention okay so when it comes to the e discovery in data retention it's good to note six key terminologies over here the first one is going to be the identification okay let me just put a number in front of this it has to do with the capability of being able to produce format and understand and intercept what those formats are let's say a pdf versus some metadata that may be associated with that pdf file so can you clearly identify the data and the metadata over there then the preservation okay it has to do with your uh, you know where this data is making sure that, you know, uh, it has to do with the where this data is making sure that it can be accessible specifically when it comes to the volatile sources that the information or data may be on so one of the challenge in the forensic part So these things, you know, actually, guys, I was talking about that overview of the ISO, ITC, other discovery needs, supporting the management policies over there, and then e-discovery and the data retention part over there. So when we are talking about the e-discovery, you know, discovery in data, you know, uh, retention. So we were talking about the six key term. First one was the identification, which has the capability of being able to produce the different format and understand the intercept what those format are like you know if there is a pdf versus some metadata that is associated with the pdf can you identify them separately then preservation it has to do with the you know where the data is we are making sure that it can be accessible specifically when volatile sources are into the picture right so i was saying that in forensic as well we are having the biggest challenge as the volatile memory so capture the data from the volatile memory before it just kind of poof right it is gone from there so we try to protect those kind of the data for sure first of all okay we want to protect that kind of data in the first thing that is there now after the preservation we will be talking about the collection okay it has to do with the access this could be determined by the service level agreement you may have limited ability to collect the large volume of data and so to be able to go through it forensically in very meaningful way then there is going to be the processing okay it is making a bit by bit imaging of cloud data source generally difficult or impossible so for security region you come up with a way of being able to maintain the data in an e-discovery format let's say for instance having copy of a vm as an object over there right and then you know you'll be creating a object over there and you can access the object and then analyze that object over itself okay then there is going to be the review Hello? review of the information is you know wholly contingent and capability and competency of those who are assigned to e-discovery you know the those people must be trained in the process over there so this will be how this you know how competent you were when you were collecting this thing or you know, whenever you are assigned discovery have you followed the policies or not now everyone need to be prepared and trained in the particular part and then the your production 
right so production is going to specify how this information will be prepared in order to be used whether it is in the court of law or some internal investigation how you are going to use that particular you know information right so that is the part of the data retention right so this is something that is you know we have talked about over here now this is a bit i think which was missing over there and this is the generally the legal issues compliance and you know your related to your e-discovery what are the few things that you need to follow 